came three weeks after the two-year-old's disappearance. Investigators found remains near the Beaver Creek campground last week that they think are Siler's. Holland tells us about the family's tragic loss and the search for answers. July 27th, the Terry Christina Preen pleads for a safe return. He's not here now. He's not doing it right now with me now. It looks like her mom. <laughs> On August 2nd, the case turned criminal. The sheriff's office believes uh, the sighted did not wander uh, from the campground, and he is presumably dead. Uh, the, search, the search effort is uh, is now in a recovery mode. The rescue turned to a recovery, but distant relative Donnie Newton remains steadfast in his own search. He believes he saw the boy's body scattered about. No, 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 what is your emergency? Oh, I think that's on fire. Oh, I don't know. I'm not on 90% sure of him. A horrific end to the life of little Siler Newton. The saddest memory on the Christmas morning. A life family members are now looking to honor. It's been really hard for us. Um, it's nice to get a chance to take up my hand. Mm, all right, wait. Yeah, I do want justice right now. I do. Things like that. Hannah Mullins, 12 News. Now, the medical examiner's office says it will take weeks to determine if DNA on those remains met Siler's. Meanwhile, the family is trying to get donations for Siler's memorial service. You can log on to 12news.azcentral.com, then click on links for details. New Scottsdale woman.